Good morning, folks. Today we'll be checking out space weather, including a Titanic far side eruption. There's a major storm in the West Pacific. We'll peek in on coastal changes, or lack thereof, and find that an astronomy mystery just got harder to solve for scientists stuck in the past. But let's go to the last 24 hours on our star. We had minor flaring over the last day, some surges in the corona, but no big CMEs erupting at Earth. And in general, the sunspot risk is on the decline. We still have a couple of active regions, but none of them are tremendous complex, leaving the plasma filaments as the primary watch here today. You can see several of them incoming on the north here. We'll have our eyes on them for more activity. But anyone watching the coronagraphs yesterday likely noticed a major event take place, a full halo CME eruption. But of course, as we just saw, nothing on the Earth-facing half could have made this. It was indeed on the exact opposite side of the sun facing away from the Earth. Nevertheless, as we've seen many times, even far side eruptions can be relevant as high energy protons have been surged throughout the solar system. Luckily, these are still at minor levels, not even proton storm conditions at the lowest level. So let's go to the West Pacific where a powerful typhoon is churning near the Philippines. It will have moderate impacts on the islands nearby with the outer bands of the storm, but luckily no direct impact until it hits China, slated to slide right in between them here and stay over the water until it reaches the mainland. Folks, you've probably seen several things like this. It just happens to be my favorite example here. Things like this and the insistence of major climate activists to buy mega mansions on the beach makes you wonder just how bad of a threat sea level rise actually is. Well, it turns out it's just not that big of a risk. New study shows that a global survey of the coastlines reveals very little impact at all. In fact, the areas that have seen a little bit of impact to their coastlines are the areas with isostatic readjustment also known as post-glacial rebound. Last but not least here, folks, it is considered one of the great mysteries in astronomy exactly how planets form from tiny particles around a star. Here, the problem gets even weirder as they prove that the larger the dust aggregates get, the more unlikely they are to stick together, so they are left wondering, just how do these planets form? We'll be back this afternoon with a special video on exactly that. It's going to seem very simple, yet it's just not a tool in the astronomer's toolbox. We greatly appreciate your support. We have lots of excellent resources in the description box below the video. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.